Putting on the ring. Dress up like a million times super. Trying hard to look like Gary Cooper. Super duper from that space to one feathers from the sticks of the rattles in their face. Good evening, everyone. Greetings and salutations. My name is Will Wood. I'm from New Jersey. I play with a band called Will Wood and the Tapeworms. I was conceived in the autumn of 1992 despite the use of three forms of contraception. And to this day, I'm apologizing for it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and that's both in between. Give yourselves a round of applause for being so fucking cool coming out to the show tonight. <laughs> Make sure you give Johnny and Heimlich, Tom, Joe Lou, and Natural Born Kissers their come up with as well. Now that tune came to me at a very rough night when with all of my constant fuck the policing, I realized the vast majority of the times in which I had been arrested, I fucking deserved it. <laughs> and this next tune comes to you from a time a time forgot. Jesus Christ. See, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and others, both in between. A few years back now, there was this idea going around that pretty much everybody got in their heads. All the mystic visionaries, the spiritual gurus, all the advisors, the cultists, and religious leaders all had the same idea in their mind, or some variation thereof, that the world was going to come up in flames and be reborn like a phoenix from the ashes. Like that goodbye, like that somehow, in some way, it was the recycling of the mind calendar, the return of Ketsuwala, the awe, dawning of the age of Aquarius, and all that jazz. The rapture, or Jesus was going to come down, and you were going to come up. And I suppose a part of me took that a little bit seriously. People are always telling you, live like there's no tomorrow, carpe down, seize the day. The problem with living like there's no tomorrow is there tends to be a tomorrow. And so, I suppose, when I decided I was going to live like there was no tomorrow, uh... I do what a lot of people do when they're trying to seize the day. Drugs. <laughs> See, I threw it all back in the day. You name it, I did it. I did shit that didn't even have names. Just long chemical codes and acronyms. If you looked that long enough, you could find your fucking social security number in. They used to call them designer drugs, now they call them research chemicals, because it turns out people were just doing research with them, and they leaked from the laboratory and ended up in my stomach. <laughs> and drug dealers tend to be pretty creative types. They usually have, like, they have, like, 75 different names for weed. They couldn't come up with something for 25i and B-O-M-E. <laughs> but because of the way in which I lived, and I did live a certain way, I mean... My drug test, I, I, I was such a junkie that my drug tests were drugs. Probation officers started p testing people's piss for my piss. I was a controlled substance, my blood was illegal, I could spit in your eye and start seeing shit. 
Because of the way I behaved, living like there was no tomorrow, I lost my yesterday. And now there is nothing but a big black gaping hole where the period of time between the winter of 2011 and the spring of 2013 might be. The song's called 2012. <laughs> decision of booking two nights at a night stand out in Endwell. Do you know what Endwell is? Hell. There we go. And I can tell you, spending any time at the night stand in Endwell does not end well. Try spending any points. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and other folks in between, the, uh, the place where I was in last night, I gotta tell you, man, it was classic. I mean, like, just classic, original craftsmanship goes into a door that drafty. There was, <laughs> the bed was fake. 
It was a fake bed. What I mean by that is it was a box spring on two pieces of plywood, just, just balanced on top of it, which explains why it collapsed the second I sat down on it. The cockroaches knew better to, uh, than to uh, spend any time there. The smoke alarm didn't make much sense as it was a smoking room. And I found a note by the sink that said, please do not use the sink. And I thought to myself, why wouldn't I use the sink? And I checked the shower and there's no running water. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, not as close to me, which means I find a way to romanticize it. I reach into the, uh, the, the drawer by the bed, expecting to pull out a Gideon, Gideon Bible, and instead I find a bottle of what ends up being Zoloft. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, not as close to me, which means it's the kind of place, it's a, it's a really lovely place. You don't get to get to have that experience too often where you're walking down that outside hallway thing they have set up at those motels, and you, you just, you're just lost in the cacophonous symphony, the sounds of Senator's fucking hookers. <laughs> it was a beautiful evening. I'm not going back. I booked two nights in a row. The money's gone. I'm just gonna cut, cut my losses and not stay there again because the door, while it did lock, it also had about an inch gap between the edge of it and the door frame. So, um, Anyway, it reminds me of another place I used to frequent that's not too far from here. You see, um, uh, one of the many universities I had the pleasure of dropping out of was Binghamton University. And I spent a little bit of time here. There's one place that sticks out in my memory more than the rest. It's a nasty little place. You want to get there, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make a left onto Court Street pick up a little bit of spice, a little bit of K2 from Sugar Mountain, make your way down the road, make a right, at where two wrongs make a right, and find yourself in a corner, a cul-de-sac, a hole in the wall, and like a hole in the head, where the teeth, the, the, the teeth of the city, the buildings jut out from the ground like periodontal disease gums, and you walk up to that beautiful pearly gate of jism, and you stand at the door and you present five women. If you don't have five women, you can't get in. It's an alternative economy, but they make it work. You step in through that doorway, kiss the mezuzah, and you're immediately greeted with the stench of bad intentions and lost virginity. A wonderful, wonderful little hellhole. Since been boarded up and shut down because a kid died. A nasty little place down on Front Street. Thank you. 
Distinguishing it from the brick wall surrounding it. And the spotlight shone off your eyes like diamonds in the sky. Like some kind of LSD induced hallucination, though I don't think I dosed that night. And I look around you like a periscope, like a pair of binoculars bent and hanging from a roof. I spun around and gripped my wits by their ends. And I knew that we would be at least friends at some point i lost track of the right way to live and the right way to be and the right way to understand love and love and reality i wanted my pants for you it was my best you wanted not the one that you asked for and i Piano like I did, and you played piano better than I did, and you played piano and made me feel like an asshole because you were better than me at it. And you were gorgeous, not sexy but gorgeous, something in between, kind of cute. I guess you looked a little bit like a lot like an older wolf in Wolfheart. Forget I said that part. I don't want that ending up on the internet Cause you know how hard call out culture's going These days you make a crack like that, your career is over <laughs> But ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, mothers, folks and in-betweens Let me tell you a little bit about that When I had lost you finally I was happier than ever, oh, oh happier than ever Because I I learned, I learned, I learned, I learned, I learned, I learned, I said I learned, 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 learned. I said I learned the way the love can burn, I really mean it. I and I suppose in a way, all of us really just want a person to sink into so that we can disappear. Sort of like the way an anglerfish absorbs the male, burrows into her side, his head becomes one with the flesh of the fish, and 
The male dies and ejaculates its sperm into the side of the fish. This is true, this is all biology here. And all we want is a pretty little light to be dangling in front of us for us to chase down so we can lose our heads in another person's body. <laughs> Right? Okay, I guess not. 
Um, I guess I'll do another one of me being a fucking psycho and see if you guys tune in at that point. I get sick of this, man. I don't do this because I love it. I'm not chasing my dreams. I'm not doing any of that shit. I'm doing it because it's the only thing I have left at this point. I've burned all my other bridges. I'm not good at anything else. Shit, I've dropped out of four different colleges, and at this point, I don't have any other options. I can't go and be a lawyer like my brother. I can't go and be a lawyer like my father. I can't go and be a lawyer like somebody else is a lawyer but isn't in my family. I can't go and be a realtor like my mother. I can't go and be a dog like my dog. I can't go and be anything other than what I am right now, and God fucking damn it, I hate it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and others, both and in betweens. They say not all those who wander are lost. Bullshit. Sorry, I got angry there, you see. I, uh, sometimes it's hard to go running around the country, uh, even with a head full of mood stabilizers. It's kind of tough to, you know, expect yourself to be talented all the time, expect yourself to be on point all the time, and always have something poetic or profound to say, or at least funny to say. And it's tough to have that pressure on yourself, also while knowing that people back at home are aware of what you're doing and are watching it via the internet with their electronic eyeballs and their transmission devices. It's difficult to be doing all that with a head full of fucking diagnoses, trying to wander around the fucking country with borderline personality disorder. Give it a shot sometime. It ain't easy. Sometimes I feel like, uh, like there's nobody in there. Like I'm just made out of nothing. Like I'm a person made out of nobody. No features, no characteristics, just a man on shuffle. Like an old iPod Nano. Like I, like I'm just like a non-Newtonian fluid taking on the shape of whatever contains me. Sure, the Taoists would think that's far out, but you know, it's, you expect to be a, a single person usually. And back in Vestal, New York, I, um, when I was at Binghamton University, I had a, a period of time where I wasn't eating, really. I don't mean like I was skipping lunch, I mean I was skipping weekends. And something happens to you when you don't eat for a really long time. They call it starving. Something happens where you start seeing different angles and different ridges and different contours than you would have seen before. And if you're not ready for that, I guess it kind of freaks you out. But I had this experience and it kind of reminded me that maybe, even though I can't usually see it, there really is something there. There really is an architecture, a structure, something that's stopping all of us from being puddles on the ground, unable to walk and stand upright. And that's our bones. To cut down on my silhouette, my favorite foods are smoking hearts. My left off its red forgets to let us up. That's when my cracking back will next the backs of my false starts. Oh, nightmares start as dreams, and I hear my subconscious screaming. You say that beauty is just skin deep. So naturally, please shut me. Your bones, 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 let me see your bones. Well, I don't want to know if the feeling follows on. Bones, bones, bones. Yeah, we're all alone. If I come home, baby, will you show you bones? Lost in thoughts and petticoats, your baby teeth would pray for you. A selfish book is always open. So much the best lie, here's only one the truth. All love starts as a skip, so wake me up. I'm tired of sleeping. They say that beauty's just skin deep. So obviously, please shut for me. Your bones, bones, bones. Let me see your bones. Well, I don't want to know if the feeling follows on. Bones, bones, bones. Hell, we're all alone. If I come home, baby, will you show me your bones?
looking in permanently square peg in a round hole, permanently not belonging, permanently too weird to kind of squirm your way into the slot allotted for you at the beginning of this life, trying to condense yourself to the right shape, but you keep springing back out to the person you were before you tried to meet certain constraints. You keep trying to climb up the side of the bell curve and keep slipping back down before you can achieve some sense of normality. And it's, it shit's fucked. It's, it's, um, it's hard sometimes. But I guess, um, any of you have cats in here who feel this way, who feel like, you know, you're too fucking weird, too fucking bad, fucked up. Like you're a bad person. Like you've stolen your own innocence. Like you've stowed away any semblance of a person that could have at some point just sat down with the boys, cracked open a cold one, and enjoyed the game. I don't care if you're seeing shit that ain't there. I don't care if you're rolling around on the floor, smearing shit on the walls, speaking in tongues, inhaling Satan. Cool with me, man. I don't give a fuck. I've been there, man. And this next tune I'm going to play for you folks isn't on record yet. Um, but um, it's called Love Me Normally. If I could live in 
Well, I don't think life would be much worse than it is in the current test presently. This sentence ending with question marks or dot dot dot. Is it courageous or is it to leave the quarantine when you're contagious? It may just be a cold. And it's a lot of warning, it all, yeah. I think that's what you get to me after life of the party. In the after party game, I was holding in. And I'm at a big normal, yes, I'm normal. I suggest that we keep this so normal. Is it normal to be eating good and eating? To pretend to be normal, to be normal. But I guess that's the least that I want to do. To the other road, away. I could be giving up. How come I don't want to be normal? the song when I can talk to my audience. I can tell them something I want for you, Hepcast, tonight. I want you to look to your left, look to your right. At 12 o'clock, at 3 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, at 9 o'clock, you rock around the clock tonight. And I want you to find those points of no return, those inky black abysses, those black old tessellations, those event horizons, and the beautiful pupils, the beautiful irises, the beautiful boy or girl or neither or both are in between that you brought with you tonight. I want you to tell them how you really feel. I want you to tell them that you love the way they so seamlessly, like a dream for Playing to the goddamn stars of some kind of groovy ass familiar. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Or don't you love the way that they don't stick out? Like a sore goddamn thumb. If you know they would, then they need to hear the rules and regulations of society that have a reason to follow. Or don't you love the way that they're not mad adaptive, not mad content, not mad again, not mad at the set? Or don't you love them? That you really love them? Exactly the way everybody else is. I was nothing before, so I do not ask. Christmas, I don't miss it all. When I see it, baby, could you play along with me? Baby, would that be alright with you? And when we find out what's wrong with me, could you tell me how I'm right for you? Baby, could you play along with me? Baby, would that be alright with you? After all of that's been done to me, could you tell me how, could you tell me how, and if I'm still pretty? 
cannot see me specifically. Any songs that you wish I would have played? Cover the song. Cover the song. Yeah. Wow. Agreed. That's yeah. the worst song I ever fucking wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need you to 
meltdown earlier. There's a fair amount of uh, stressors right now. And they take different shapes and they have different names and different faces. A lot of them are people. A lot of them are circumstances. A lot of them are me. tunes for you guys tonight, and um, this song, this next one, um, this one should be fun. I'm my head and keep 
reason to the plan. Sun of to sun, I wear it then. It's something this can make me wish that I was an owl too. I don't wish I was dead, but somebody's gotta go! <laughs> Put the band called Will Wood and the Tapeworms. Um, I got one more song for you guys tonight. Thank you for having me, by the way. You guys have been great. Um, and every now and again, I remember this, and it's super important. Um, and I think it's super important that everybody here remembers it as often as possible. I don't care if you remind yourself every hour on the hour, set a reminder on your phone, whatever. But there's one thing that always brings me comfort and always makes me happy whenever I'm down. And if I tell you what it is, if I just tell you, you're going to be like, what the fuck's wrong with you, Will? That's the thing that comforts you. But I'm going to play this last two for you, and hopefully it'll make a little bit of sense. This is a new one. I just wrote it about a month ago. And um, thank you. One day you're going to die One day you'll sleep And you'll never wake again Hail and hell with on and off And who knows how it ends Rest in peace for pieces And won't even know why One day you're going to die Read your horoscopes Your palms and tarot cards Either way your destination ain't too far you could drown or choke or burn or be hit by a car. What does it kill you makes you stronger. 
But something will all that you will be one day you look back at the last that you led. No more future left to fear, but lots of past to regret. But your worries will be over when you truly realize one day you're going to die. Thank you. 